great day at 9 a.m. Keep folks. expecting you to say Friday Eve. And I'm like, no, it's really Friday. I know. Scott and I were off Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. <laughs> it was a long week, though. It was. Yeah, These we were two just days. talking about that. I, I, I know. It, I, I know. Boo hoo. Boo -hoo. We had three days know, off right, this week. I know. But it's so exhausting. And when you're trying well, to. Well, Fridays like, are rough for the both of us. Yeah. Fridays are our busiest days. Fr Fridays are the busiest day of the week. <laughs> Because <laughs> we have radio, we have good what's going on. You got to tape on things. Yeah. A lot of taping things. I have things. a podcast taping early. Oh, later you do today. a little yeah. later today. So yeah, so yeah, that's a lot. Good. Thank you so much. Did you get it done? Um, I brushed it. <laughs> <laughs> I curled it at 3 a.m. and then I I brushed it before the show. Okay, so I'm you know I'm watching Bold and the Beautiful. Yes, it's very dramatic. You are hope. Hope is you. I have to look this hope up. She's a beautiful young woman, Thank so it's you. a compliment. And <laughs> just her emotions and the way she talks, I'm like I'm watching the call. On really? TV. Yeah, you gotta watch. Maybe it. I missed my calling. Great storyline. <laughs> okay, oh. I, I should get into it. Yeah, it's really good. I'll watch good. TV in like three years when exactly. my kids are a little older. Okay. So what's going on? Headlines? Um, yeah, headlines. Uh, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Obviously, it's getting a little hot outside yeah, too. Yeah, another hot day. We're gonna get to the weather in just a second. Yeah, but uh, let's get right into the headlines. Talking about the heat. Uh, there's a brand new shelter in. New Haven that's opening up for those experiencing homelessness. It's actually now officially open. That's good. City leaders have been working tirelessly trying to prepare this emergency shelter that can hold up to 50 people. Columbus House owns the building and has already been giving help to the city's homeless population for more than 40 years. So this shelter will stay open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week and will operate until the end of October. And I mean it couldn't have come at a better time. No, right? the timing is key, especially you know we have more 90 degrees days in the seven-day forecast uh, next week I think uh, Wednesday and Thursday we're gonna start creeping those numbers out by close to 90 degrees again so this heat is not going it's gonna get a little bit better over the weekend yeah and then it'll start creeping back up okay so we'll keep you posted on the forecast but it's good that they're opening that yeah, shelter it's, it's really good, good. Hey, anything to help people who Absolutely. you know are having a hard time oh my goodness all right this morning at 1130 lawmakers in the capital city will be take talking about a new plan to reduce the number of deadly crashes on roads across the state unfortunately we just had a 19 year old killed last night in Salisbury. Mm. Senator Richard Blumenthal and officials with the DOT will introduce a federal proposal called the Road to Zero Resolution at the corner of Broad Street and Farmington Avenue. Traffic accidents are the leading cause of death for Americans under 54, and they kill more than 100 people every day. Wow. We're still working to learn details of the plan, but so far we know lawmakers and the DOT will be calling for more resources to improve road safety. Wow. Just some of these statistics are just mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah, last year in Connecticut, 228 pedestrians had serious injuries from car accidents. That's incredible. Yep, and then 73 pedestrians were actually struck and killed by cars. Yeah, so we got to do something about this. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, you know, like that trend, 100 people a day across the United States, that's two per state Oof. to do the averages. Yeah, know. that's a, wow. That's right. That's yeah. That's not good. No, that's not good at all. We got to you know, practice up, that road yeah, safety. Yeah, we got to practice that road safety. And is right. distracted driving, just put the phone down. Put it can the wait. phone down. I was on the road this morning. They, people were doing 100 past me. I was Are like, you kidding? No, they just mornings. It's a free for all on the roadway. So I'm Jeez. like, what, what's happening? Well, there was that guy that was driving on Route Two from Colchester up to East Hartford. Yeah, 130 miles an hour. 130 miles an hour. I wait. think you know when you hear those stories, you think about those thorough thorough fares that you drive on every day, and you're like, that that could be me. Yeah, like, exactly. 65 times two is 130. That's double the speed limit on a major highway. You are really good with your math too this morning, <laughs> might I add. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! For someone who's exhausted. I'm cranking good out the job. numbers today. <laughs> All right. After some nasty weather this week put a little bit of a damper on fireworks displays across the state, plenty of towns and cities are going to give them another shot tonight. They're making up for it. Good. And it's not bad spreading it out, right? Absolutely. In Meriden festivities at East Peak in Hubbard Park will start at 9 tonight. Torrington Summer Carnival at Torrington Middle School will start at 4 with fireworks at dusk. And the Naugatuck Summer Festival starts at 6 tonight right on Old Firehouse Road. Yeah, you can also check the Channel 3 app to see a full list of the rescheduled events because it's never too late to celebrate. Absolutely not. And today's going to tonight's going to be a really nice night for fireworks. Is it going to be nice and yeah, clear? It's gonna, hopefully. We're expecting a little bit of an increase in clouds, but I'm hoping those clouds roll in after midnight. All right. Awesome. Well, yeah. let's get right into let's weather, shall we? Shall we? <laughs> All right. Our Doppler scanning the state dry. Good morning, everybody. It's time to rise and rise and join us. I keep saying rise and shine as if it's 4.30 in the morning. Hey, maybe some people are sleeping in. Yeah, you never know. We're very jealous of you. We're very <laughs> jealous of you. Thank you for getting up with us. Uh, this is Futurecast. You notice the clouds completely.
completely go away. I just ran the clock down through 5 p.m. So the scattered showers stay to the west of Connecticut during the day today. Let's keep our fingers crossed. There might be a minor shower or a brief thunderstorm in the state somewhere popping up today, but for the most part, we stay dry. This is overnight tonight, partly to mostly cloudy. And then tomorrow during the day, we start off the same as we did this morning with a little bit of fog and some mostly cloudy conditions. And then this is noon. We see partly to mostly sunny skies with a chance for a pop-up shower or thunderstorm isolated in nature. And then Sunday, we're talking about a better chance for even some moderate to heavy rain Sunday night into Monday morning. And I'll be back. Uh, I'll be back. Bark. I'll be back to talk about that <laughs> coming up in the next uh, half an hour. Mrs. Wiggins, get me uh, my pencil. <laughs> what is that from? Carol Burnett. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah I, I think a little bit before your time, but yeah. you know, it was very funny. I saw reruns on UPN 38. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, if you haven't left the house yet, we have a little bit of a warning for you. All right. Police in Manchester just want you to be careful heading out this morning after a dump truck crash ended up taking out the traffic lights right at the intersection of Pleasant Valley Road and the 84 on ramp. Yeah, it's a pretty busy ramp. It it Pretty is. busy uh, intersection. Yeah, so this morning expect to see a four-way stop. That should be the new norm for a few weeks until a temporary signal is ready. So just make sure that you're being cautious if you are heading through this area. And also be patient because there will more than likely be some delays. Oh, and a big heads up to the pizza fanatics across Connecticut. The grand return <laughs> of Frank Pepe's fresh tomato pizza is upon us. So this is a difference between tomato pie and tomato pizza. See, I'm not, I'm confused. Well, as you see, you'll see in the video, it's chunks of tomato okay, on top. Okay, so the fan favorite is a hot seasonal item, and it's back for the summer in New Haven and all other locations through the first week of September. Sounds good to me. There it is. Sounds like plenty of time, but September will be here before you know it, so uh, if you haven't stepped on in, step in. Can you see the tomatoes? Oh, yeah. So Look it's not just that. the tomato sauce. It has okay. The, yeah, sorry. And, I, and I, it has cheese, too, yep, right? Yep. Okay. Mozzarella cheese. Pie is topped with fresh tomatoes, mozzarella, basil, grated cheese, and just a touch of imported olive oil. Mm. Nicole, I am starving. I know. This looks so good. This is coming on air at 4.30 this morning. We're all drooling while we're looking luckily, at the screen. Luckily, there's a taco <laughs> truck here. Oh. Maybe we can uh, just eat that instead of the yeah, pizza. Yeah, I know. What's your favorite pizza? Just traditional margarita. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you would like that. I would love that. I love I the might have to take a trip for now in September. Yeah. Well, there's several Pepe's locations. So. If you think about it, September's like five to six weeks. I know. I uh, My girlfriend, she's a teacher. She has most of the summer off, obviously. Yeah. And she's like, oh, the summer just started. I said, what are you talking about? It's almost halfway over. I know. I'm like, it's, it's July. Like, Phew, it's flying by. Phew. But tomato What's your favorite pie? Pizza? I love tomato pie. Moved to Connecticut. You know, I love New York pizza. Yep. But the tomato pie is so unique. I've never had it before oh until I came here. My mouth is watering. So awesome. I know. So All good. Right. Uh, and fresh basil. I love it on my margarita pizza. Mm -hmm. That also can't be beat. And the pecorino romano. I am mm. starving. <laughs> pecorino romano. <laughs> there you go. Uh, well, these hot days certainly trigger a lot of people craving the beach. They all want to get there. And how lucky are we to live here in Connecticut where the yeah, shoreline awesome. is never too far away. Look, at you, where can you go paddle boarding in front of a lighthouse? Exactly. Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> but for those who don't, uh, they can't go to the beach. It might not be that hard to make a move. That's thanks to one city along the shoreline that just scored an impressive spot on a list of affordable shoreline locales. This mm -hmm. is pretty incredible. And here's Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski with the story for us. Some great news for New London. Realtor.com named it number three on the list of most affordable beach towns in the country for home buyers this year. My husband and I just fell in love with the vibe. It's very active. There's people walking around and biking. Realtor.com found New London has some of the most affordable beach homes compared to hundreds of other areas in the country. We were able to buy a three bedroom, two and a half bath, refinished attic, so really four bedroom home um, with very little land, so we don't have a lot of maintenance. And um, we're living by the water, and I'm a teacher and we can afford it. You can find houses in the $200,000 range, walking distance from the beach. And while that's not cheap, it's much more affordable than surrounding towns. The lower taxes over the past few years have played a huge role in the affordability of the growing six square mile town. That has the beaches, it has the towns, it has the jobs, it has the economy. 
public and private beaches. Ocean Beach is just one public beach with white sand, a boardwalk, and easy access to the public. It's a hidden gem for now, so get your house while you can. In New London, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.